Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to install certificates into the Cisco Call Manager web interface so that any warning messages, such as a message like this, there's a problem with this website's security certificate is no longer displayed. So in order to do this, you're going to need a uh, CA server uh, to issue certificates to the call manager. In this case, I have a Windows Server um, 2008 machine with uh, the role of Active Directory CA Certificate Authority installed that will be performing that task. You'll need terminal access to the call manager. And of course, you're going to need HTTPS access to the call manager. So we're going to accept the certificate warning. Go ahead and get started. So here where it says navigation on the drop down list, select Cisco Unified OS Administration and click go. Type in our credentials. All right, and on the security tab where it says certificate management, click on that. And where it says upload certificate, certificate chain, we'll select this option. It opens up a new window. And here we'll be installing our certificates or importing our certificates. Okay. So we need to import two, the root and also the server certificate. So to do that, we'll start with the root and select the Tomcat Trust option. And then head over to our certificate server. So we're going to download that route where it says download a CA certificate. Go ahead and select this option right here. And we're going to download this in the base 64 encoding. Okay, download CA certificate. Select save. Just wait for this. Okay, open the folder. And now here is our root certificate. Okay, you can see that it's been issued um, by and to the same server. Okay, it's essentially a self-signed certificate. Just go ahead and rename this. I'll call it um, VoIP Roots. And go back to that window that I had open. And we're going to browse for that root certificate. Okay, select it and go ahead and upload the root certificate. OK, you can see that it has been successfully uploaded. We'll go ahead and close out this window. Right now. And now we need to um, import the server certificates, sometimes called the identity certificate. And to do this, we're going to start by generating a certificate sign request. Here you can enter in all the information as it's relevant to you, your fully qualified domain name. If you want to change the key length or the hash algorithm, that's in totally up to you. Go to click on generate. All right, that generated the certificate sign request. Go ahead and click close. And now we have this new option to download the certificate sign request. We'll click on this and download the certificate sign request. We'll go ahead and save this. Open the folder. We can see now here is our certificate sign request. It's going to ask us how do we want to open this. We want to open this up in Notepad. If the file looks anything like this, go ahead and click on Word Wrap or Format and then Word Wrap. And then go ahead and line it up so that the sides are square or even. OK, so we'll go ahead and copy this and head back over to our CERT server where we're going to request a certificate. 
click on Advanced Certificate Request, and we're going to select this option, Base64 Encoding, and go ahead and paste in our certificate sign request. Select the option Web Server, click on Submit, and we'll download in the Base64 encoding. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Give that just a moment to run that security scan. Okay. So here is our server certificate. Just go ahead and rename this, call it pub. And then go back where it says upload the certificate, certificate chain. The um, Tomcat service is already selected by default. And we're going to upload that server certificate. Okay. All right. So it's been successfully uploaded. The only thing that it asks us to do is restart the Cisco Tomcat services. So we'll open up the terminal, paste that in there, hit enter. Now this is going to take just a, um, a few minutes to uh, start. So while that's happening, um, we will actually be able to navigate to this via um, Internet Explorer and not get those warning messages anymore. But if we want to use a web browser such as Firefox, well then we need to import this um, root certificate into the Firefox web browser. Okay, so I'm going to go over to a machine where I have Firefox installed. Here we'll click on Options, and then Privacy and Security. Scroll all the way down where it says View Certificates. And we'll go ahead and let me make sure that I don't already have it installed. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Go ahead and import. We're going to check this box, trust this CA to identify websites. Click on OK. Click on OK again. Let's look at the progress of Tomcat service. And it looks like it's started. All right, so let's go ahead and close this out and reopen. Call manager. All right, we see that we did not get any warnings displayed that time. We do have the lock. We can see that our server certificate has been successfully imported. All right. Let's go over and use a different web browser. All right. And we can see that we have the lock there and the connection there as well. Okay. So that pretty much does it. Um, I hope this has been helpful and have a good day.